Okay, this will be my first video. I just had an L3 through L5 lumbar fusion with laminectomy about eight hours ago. And uh, just for some background, I've had back issues for quite a long time, but was still able through exercise and everything to kind of do basically what I wanted um, within reason. I mean, you know, whether it's playing sports and what have you, but now it kind of caught up with me, I'm a little bit older and uh, was causing trouble, I was getting um, more pain and then more kind of numbness and tingling running down the front of my leg. And then it really started to bother me when it got into my right foot and then later my left foot. Did PT injections, none of it really worked. And I was pretty diligent about that. So it was just time for the surgery and we decided to go for it. Um, <clears throat> and that's where I am today. So eight hours later, um, you know, I'm a little bit of pain at the surgery site. Um, I haven't used the pain pump. Um, so I'm surprised it feels as decent as it does, but I think tonight's gonna be more difficult and I'm gonna kind of proactively start the pain pump to try to get ahead of it because I'm gonna be walking tomorrow or at least trying to walk tomorrow. I will walk tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so far so good. As far as my legs, um, it's kind of early to tell. I mean, they feel a little bit wonky in some ways. Um, still similar numbness. Um, and since I haven't really been walking around, I don't really know how they're gonna feel pain-wise. Um, but I can tell my foot isn't, you know, instantly, you know, better. Um, and I didn't really expect it to be. I mean, I think this is gonna be a long process. I just have to see how it goes, do what I'm supposed to do. These nerves have kind of woken up for the first time or have been released for the first time in a long time. Um, and I need to see, you know, what they do. So in my mind, this is gonna take months to, to kind of get the final result. But in my situation with the PARS defect that I had and the discs and vertebrae as they were, I mean, this was probably gonna get worse. So I needed to kind of stop the process. And I think this is gonna succeed in doing that. And I do think I'm gonna get a little bit better. It's just a wait and see. Um, so <clears throat> that's where I'm at at this point. Um, not a whole lot more to say right now, but as far as the first day goes, I mean, this is fairly doable. I mean, I'm not in as much pain as I thought I would be. Um, it may very well be that I will be in that pain um, come tonight and tomorrow. I, I just have to wait and see, and I'll give you the update at that point. I just know a lot of people did videos on their lumbar fusions, and it was very helpful for me to see that, especially five, 10, 15 days later when they're out walking and they're getting better and better. Um, it was very uplifting. Um, so I, I really am expecting myself and I'm gonna fight for myself to be in that same boat. But um, the videos that I saw were, were very positive. So I'll chart my progress and we'll go from there. So um, I'll give you an update after tomorrow and after I try to stand up and walk.